Investigating a crime, they ask a lot of questions. Every question is recorded, saved, and analyzed. Detectives know how to sift through various stories and witnesses. They know not every witness saw the same thing, and not all of their stories will match up. But the more questions they ask, the better they can piece together a picture of what happened and solve the case. God wants us to investigate the Bible every day, and in doing so, He knows we are going to struggle with understanding some parts of the Bible. That's why we need to ask questions. God wants us to pray for answers, and he wants us to ask people who we trust to find answers as well. The more questions we ask, the more answers we will find. The more we will have a better picture of what the Bible says. God is not afraid of our questions. Let's not be afraid to ask them every chance we get. Now, don't forget to draw in your journal. Now, stand up and give God praise as we sing our song of the month.
Good morning, Mountaineers. It's Miss Renee. I'm so glad to see you guys again this morning. I'm here to introduce the main point. So the main point for today is, it's okay to ask questions about the Bible. I know you guys are like, Renee, Miss Renee, what is this? That's a question mark. Let's do it together. Mm, boom. You guys are good. All right, one more time. It's okay to ask questions about the Bible. Some of you still a little fuzzy on that question mark. One more time. It's okay to ask questions about the Bible. Very good. Okay, so I'm gonna invite my friend, Minister Elise up this morning. She's gonna join me and open up with our main point. Give her a shout out, y'all. Yay! She's waving. Okay, on three. One, two, three. It's okay to ask questions about the Bible. Very good, let's try it again. It's okay to ask questions about the Bible. One more time. It's okay to ask questions about the Bible. Very good, Mountaineers. Go ahead and have a seat, and we're gonna go on to the next part of our lesson. Good morning, Mountaineers. It's Miss Renee, and I am back. And this morning, we are going to talk about the importance of asking questions. How many of you like detective shows or detective stories where you have to think about the clues, talk to other people, and find out what went on in the story? I see your hands. Good for you. I like those type of shows, too. Well, today, we're going to talk about the importance of asking questions and not being afraid to ask questions. Our scripture text this morning comes from the book of Matthew, chapter seven, verses seven through 12, and I'm gonna read them to you. Keep on asking and you will receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking and you will find. Keep on knocking and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks receives, everyone who seeks finds, and to everyone who knocks, the door will be open. Your parents, if your children ask for a loaf of bread, do you give them a stone instead? Or if they ask for a fish, do you give them a snake? Of course not. So if you sinful people know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly father give good gifts to those who ask him? Do to others what you would like them to do to you. This is the essence of all that is taught in the law and the prophets. Good job, Mountaineers. You guys can go ahead and close up your Bibles and let's talk a little bit more about this story. So in this story, it tells us that we are to do three things. We're to ask, we're to seek, and to knock. Sometimes as Christians, people may tell us that it's not right to ask God questions or we shouldn't ask God questions about anything. Well, our scripture text today clearly tells us that that is not true. God encourages us to ask. Ask for those things that we need from him. Seek, seek means to look for, to find it. And then knock, knock and it, the door shall be open. If you guys take those three words, ask, seek and knock, did you know that each letter, the first letter of each word spells out ask. That point is really important because that's a good way for you to remember that you need to seek God in all that you do. You may be thinking, well, Miss Renee, I'm no detective. Well, yeah, you are. And you learned that in the skit earlier. We are all detectives in that we have to ask questions of God. We have to think about being an eyewitness and telling the good news about Jesus Christ to others. Because you know that the stories in the Bible, some of them are so wild and so crazy, but there are lessons there to teach us. And there were people who were eyewitnesses. They were like the detectives. They gave an account of what they saw with Jesus. You may be thinking, okay, Miss Renee, I'm supposed to ask, I'm supposed to seek, I'm supposed to knock. Well, who am I supposed to ask? Well, the first person you can ask is your pastor or your Bible teacher, and they can help you find the answer. And where do you think they might help you find the answer? 
right here in the Bible. You're right, because that is God's word and that's his handbook or his directions that he gave to us. Who else could you ask? All right, somebody said your parents. Absolutely, you grew up in a home where the Lord is, is taught and the Lord is Lord and you guys are Christians. Your parents can ask those questions for you, answer those questions to you as well. And they're gonna use the Bible to find the answers. Well, somebody said, do I always have to use the Bible? Absolutely, the Bible is God's infallible, perfect word. We don't use any other source of information when we're being detectives to find answers to the questions that we seek from God, except in the Bible. And then finally, you could ask your pastor. Now, some people think pastors are perfect. They're not, none of us are. But I'm sure if you ask your pastor, what book do you think he's gonna reach for to give you the answer that God says? You're right, the Bible. So as you go along being a detective, asking God about the things that he wants for your life, the things that you wanna know, ask, seek, and knock. There's no dumb question. There's no question too hard for God. And God is not upset when we ask him questions. All right, Mountaineers, I'm gonna encourage you to go back and now be a detective. Go and ask God for those things that you seek and answer to the questions that you don't have the answers for. But when you ask, when you seek, when you knock, go to the Word of God first. Have a good day. See you guys next time. Welcome to 20 Questions. Today we have Ms. Jocelyn and Ms. Stacy on Team One. Give it up for them. Woo -hoo! And we have Mountie and Miss Renee on team two. Give it up for them. All right, so you see they have a card in their hand. They have a magnifying glass in their hand because we are going to use our detective skills again. All right, now last week they could just give them clues. This week they have to ask questions. So they're gonna ask each other yes and no questions to try to guess the person or place their partner is holding, all right? And we're gonna see which team can do it the fastest, all right? So, last time we started with Miss Jocelyn and Miss Stacy, so this time we're gonna start with Miss Renee and Mountie, all right? So, Mountie, ask Miss Renee some questions about her. Do you have a person or place, Miss Renee? I have a person. Okay, so Mountie, ask her some questions about her person. They can only be yes or no questions, all right? Yes. Yeah. No. 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 Yeah. What other questions do you all think that Mountie should ask? They're not a singer, they're not a politician, but they are an actor. <laughs> no. Yeah. All right, they are cartoons. So, what are your guesses at home? What do you think? Brielle? What do you think? Sierra? Huh? Sure. No. All right, it's not Shaggy from Scooby-Doo, but it is a cartoon character. <laughs> is that for me? I want boys and girls, maybe as uh, is the character a person? Uh -uh. No. Okay, is the character an animal? Why? Okay. So we have an animal cartoon character. All right. took about two minutes, a minute and 52 seconds, all right? So, we're gonna go ahead on over here to this team, and we're going to see how they do, all right? And so, Miss Stacy, you're gonna ask Miss Jocelyn some yes or no questions about her person, and then we'll get to the places next. 
Uh, okay, so is this person famous? Yes. Is he the same ethnicity as me? Yes. Is he tall? For yes. sure. He's oh. Is he tall? Yes or no question. Is he tall? Yes. Um does he live in Virginia? No. Uh, does he live in California? Maybe. Um, no. Have, have we ever seen him on TV? Yes. Does he dance? Mm -hmm. No. Help me out. <laughs> All right. So we know it's the African American. We know that he was. He's a famous person. We know that we've seen him on TV before. Hmm. So who could this famous person be that we've seen on TV before that's kind of tall? All right? Is, is he into politicians? Yes. All right, he's a politician. So boys and girls, who do you think it is? Who do you think, Nyla? What do you think? So, if he's a politician, what are some politician roles maybe that you could ask a yes or no question about? Did he serve um, at the White House? Yes. <laughs> oh! Is it Barack Obama? Yes! Awesome job! All righty, daddy. And they got theirs in a minute and 38 seconds. So, theirs was a little bit shy. A little bit faster than Mountie and Miss Renee. All right, so now we have a plate. So let's see if Miss Renee can guess the place that Mountie has in his hand by asking him some yes or no questions. You all are doing a great job at home. So remember, yell out your questions. I promise you, we want to hear them. We're going to hear them. And you all are helping us a lot. All right, so let's go. All right. Is it a place where everybody goes? Yes. Is it a place that all of us go? Yes. Do I have to die to go there? No. It's a place we all go. You don't have to die to go there. Is ours local? Yes. Church. Work. Think, think about some things that are that could be at various places. Or is the place a building? Or is the place inside? Out is the place inside? Cold? Yeah. Is it hot? Yeah. Do I go inside no. of this place? No. So I say outside? Yes. And it's hot? Yes. Uh, a park? No. Um, uh, the beach. Yes. Yay! Awesome <laughs> job! Great job! They did it! And they only did that in a minute and eight. Yes. All right, Ooh. so okay. let's see how Miss Jocelyn does with guessing Miss Stacy's place. Great job for helping us out, Mountaineers. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, is this place inside or out? Oh, sorry. Is this an inside place? No. It's an outside place. So, hmm. Is there sand at this place? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, are there trees? Yes. Mm -hmm. Are there trees outside? Where can this be? Um, are kids allowed to, at this place? Yes. What do you think, Aiden? Mm. Is there a pool? No. Mm. Kids go there, it's outside, it has trees. Christian, where do you go with this like that? Is there a slide? Yes. <gasps> a playground? Yes. Awesome job! Great job! All right. Yeah. It took them a little bit less time. So I think they're the one that's the end. Great job. Good job. Great job, Mountie. Yay. Great job, Miss Renee. Yay. Now, what's the point? 
guess what? Just like we ask these questions, it's okay for you to ask questions about your body, all right? If the team didn't ask questions, they would have never guessed the place or the person they were talking about, all right? So, we'll see you next time on 20 Questions. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Well, welcome back to the end of our lesson looking for clues, all right? Now, did you write something in your handy dandy detective notebook about the lesson? Did you write something about what Miss Jocelyn taught you about that cassette recorder? Hmm. Did you write down some questions you may have had about the Bible story? Well, we hope you did. Go ahead on and get your notebook back out because guess what we need you to do? I need you to write this memory verse in there. And I know you said, Miss Elise, we're gonna write all those words. No, nope. don't want you to write all those words. All we're going to write is the reference for the scripture, all right? So I'm gonna pretend that this whiteboard is my notebook because if I write it here, you're not gonna see it, all right? So, but get your notebook and I want you to write where we can find our memory verse. So we can find it in Psalm. I know it sounds quite interesting, does it? It don't have no, it don't have no puff sound. That P is really silent, but we have P. Arrow on the plate, flag on the plate, flag on the plate. Miss Lee, let's get right nothing because the marker don't write. Let's lead to the rescue. Awesome. Let's try this one. Let's see what we have. All right, make sure your pencil or your marker or your, uh, let me see what else you could have. Your pen, your pencil, your marker, or your crayon, right? Okay, all right, so let's try this one. All right, so we're gonna write, ooh, there we go. Song P S A L M. All right, now, 119. So that's a one, a one, and a nine. Now, I know that it's summertime, and so your brain might be off, but the teacher and me won't let it be, all right? So, if this is 119, this is in the what place? The ones, the tens, the hundreds, all right? And then we're gonna write a dot and another dot, all right? A colon. Now, we're gonna write 15 and draw a little dash 16, because we have two verses, again, in your handy dandy detective notebook, write down Psalm 119, colon 1516. P S A L M 119, colon 15 dash 16. And then you can go back to that verse later on and read it. And you can even ask questions about it, or you can talk to your parents about it. All right, so here we go. Sometimes we read the Bible and we have questions. We might ask, did that really happen? What does that verse mean? But well, guess what? Don't ever be afraid to ask questions. Asking questions to God, teachers, parents, and ourselves will help us grow in our knowledge of the Bible and our authority as children of God. All right, so guess what? If you already, if you don't have a notebook already, the craft this week is for you to create a notebook. You can get some paper, you can staple it together, you might have could have went to Dollar Tree, you could have got a notebook, and on it you're gonna write detective notes, all right? And I want you to continue to use this throughout our detective series and write down your questions and write down things that you learned. And you know I wanna see it, so share it with us on social media, at MCM underscore Chesapeake. All right, we're gonna pray and then I'm gonna give you our teaser for next week, so let us back. Dear God, help us to find the answers to our questions in the Bible. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, now I want you to join us next week as we learn what these scrambled words have to do with our lesson. If you unscramble them, send them to children's ministry at the mountlees.org. All right, so we have a Jocelyn. Jocelyn, hold up your word. All right, Mountie, use your magnifying glass and put it over that word, and maybe that'll help the boys and girls figure out what it is. Boys and girls, if you know what that scrambled word is, write it down in your detective notebook or send it to children's ministry at the mountlees.org. All right, great job. Now we have Miss Stacy. Miss Stacy, hold up your scrambled word. Mm. Mountie, use your magnifying glass to help you see that one. 
Mm, wonder what that word is. All right, well, don't forget, remember the key of today's lesson. And we'll see you all next week. Bye-bye. It's okay to ask questions about the Bible. Very good, let's try it again. It's okay to ask questions about the Bible. One more time. It's okay to ask questions about the Bible. <laughs>